suspected human trafficking operation. Well, Jessica Turner is the communications manager for the Anti-Slave for Anti-Slavery International. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to be absolutely clear. We're not going to talk about the specifics of this case uh, because clearly that legal case is now up and running and live. So we're going to talk more generally. People may be familiar with the idea of people taking these extraordinary risks of getting into the back of these uh, lorries, travelling these large distances. Given the fact that we know how dangerous that is, why do you think that people do take that risk? Well, I think it's really important to remember that it's really in human nature to want to move. So whether it's that you want to move for your job or you want to move to another country to be closer to your family, it's always been part of our nature to want to move. And that shouldn't be any different today, whether you're from Vietnam, wherever you come from. So we don't know the circumstances of what um, what led to these people being in the back of the lorry today. And we don't know what they were told before they got into the lorry. What we do know is that people do want to be able to move and they should be able to do so safely and with dignity. What we also know is that when immigration laws are really strict and at the moment in the UK, it's incredibly difficult to enter the country by regular means. That's when we see human traffickers really flourishing and it pushes people into the hands of traffickers. They might be tricked, they might be coerced, but ultimately, if they want to arrive in a country and they have no way to do it um, by regular means, they will be pushed into the hands of people smugglers and also to human traffickers.